Okay, recording. So let's go, let's do this. It's Monday, 12, 18 p.m. I'm starting this week with a new purpose, with a new objective. I want to put out everything I know about NPC, everything I've been learning along. I spent time on my own with, with the box. And I discovered very cool stuff that I feel like it's not really well, not well explained, but I don't know. I just want to explain this my way. Uh, yes, this is the very first shopping technique. It's the first thing I want to do that I wish could work. A section of a song that comes with drums with synths, with pianos, with bass, you know, we have a big chunk of information. Let's get into it. Uh, very first chopping technique. Chopping in quarter notes. Let's go. Very first step, taking the right sample and record it in your MPC. Let's do this. So I'm gonna press Patrice Russian Forget Me Nuts. It's very popular, everybody knows it. I remember as a kid listening to the, the Men in Black animated series. the strings, everything feels right. And um, whenever I started figuring out things with MPC, this was, this was one of the first tracks I wanted to try. It's like, whoa, are there any more possible grooves, uh, chopping uh, situations? What can I do with this, you know? We have to select the song that we feel like it has a steady drum patterns and, and good information after the main drum transient. Hey boy, so I, can, I cannot show the sample because I don't know if it's gonna be muted or something because of copyright, but I just recorded the sample uh, directly into the MPC. Never leave samples unnamed. You're gonna have a pool of samples and you need, you need to remember what, what this is, you know? Okay, so now that we have the sample in there, we're gonna go to the edit sample window, sample edit. Find the sample. And the very first thing I usually do is go to process and normalize. Normalize, always normalize your samples. You want them as loud as possible. Trim, get rid of the stuff I don't really need. So. This is up to you. Select the parts you need with with uh, start and end selectors here, and, and and discard. Why? Because you want to save space in your hard drive. Don't don't be messy. Try to be clean. It's just good discipline, and that that way you know exactly what's the, what's the thing you're trying to sample. Okay. So now I'm. My sample is clean, got what I wanted. The next thing is we need to get the groove or BPM tempo of the sample. I already transposed the sample two semitones lower just so I don't get uh, caught with copyright and stuff, you know? Um, hope it works. So. I'm gonna press the tap tempo button here in this section. Okay, so now you can see my selector for the start of the sample. I'm gonna use these knobs to. Of course, I have the MPC one, so it's a very enjoyable experience, but whatever you have, just make sure you find the, the start part of your sample. Yes. Yeah. 
that's it that's the first bit i want so i just want to make sure i get it right so let's zoom in and find the very beginning we can hear the bass comes first and the kick after the bass is following the kick and they, they just decided to play the note a little bit before it which sounds cool but i think this is the real beginning of your sample that's a quarter note and remember that, that, that that's the purpose here In the sample edit section, we have these buttons that help us uh, chop faster. And path number three is very useful in this window because it helps us find the ending of the sample a bit faster. Otherwise, we will need to play from beginning to end, and that, that takes forever. So press these two uh, sam uh, press these two paths, especially path number three, and find. The ending of the bar. Remember, each bar, four bits. One, two, three, four. One. That's a bar. Next bar. One, two, three, four. That's the second bar. Okay. So this is the beginning of the next bar, right? So the begin, the ending for your sample for your bar. To be here why because that's the beginning of the next section and we're just trying to get all the notes zoom in and try to match what you did with the very first transit remember this is the one we did in the beginning listen to it this is where use your ears comes in play you know listen to any artifacts or any weird stuff don't let it be too glitchy Later, you'll have to process that with compressor. You don't want the compressors uh, triggered by glitchy noises or anything like that. In this case, we're trying to match what we did on the very first bait, but the other way around, if you know what I mean. To finish the sample the, way, the same way we started it. So this is the ending. This red one is the ending, as you can see on the screen. And then if I go to the green one, the green one is the start. That way we have, let's, let's, count, the, let's count the beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Nice. So that means we have four bars. Okay, so this is the interesting part chopping we go from this th this was the trim section of the mpc but in the bottom left corner of your screen you'll find chop or whatever you're using you know this is i think this applies for all uh, those and many other devices you know this is nothing really special um so i'm pretty sure you'll find a way to do it whatever you're using but in this case we have the option to create regions for that specific section that we just created. Those four bars can be divided in regions. So if we have four beats per bar, how many, how many beats do we have? In total, 16. So we go to regions, it's already set as 16. And all of a sudden, if I zoom out, you'll see that the MPC created 16 regions already. And each one, it's perfectly placed, or almost perfectly placed, just before the drum hit. Let's test it. Wow, that was nice. And the reason it's perfect is because, well, maybe this type of song, you know, the timing is very accurate, but if you zoom in, actually, you'll find some imperfections. For example, let's pick a random path. Path, path number seven. You see how we're supposed to chop 
in the like in the very very beginning of the transient just before it gets high in volume let's say so is this a problem you have to think about well is this a problem or not if you want to, to sample the drums and you're going to use this sample with the drums included i would say we'll need to adjust this later because we need we need the drums as clean as possible right but if you're not going after the drums you just want the groove and the instruments and you actually want to remove the drums or use your own drum the drum sounds in that case don't worry just leave it as it is let's leave it as it is for this example and move on to the next step so we like it it's playable it's ready there's some glitchy noises but i'll show you what we can do to fix that for now we're gonna go shift Convert, and we're going to create a program in the MPC. The MPC is always giving us options for these uh, slices and chopping programs and whatever. And, and this is always a, a discussion. It's always a, a great topic to discuss in the MPC community. And, um, but if I had to give you advice, definitive advice on how to do things based on, on what I know, what I've experience so far i would say go for path parameters always path parameters is great because whatever happens here we just gonna commit to creating a program that will never be edited outside the program edit program window so that's it we got it We got a program with quarter notes. Remember, one beat equals a quarter note. That's what we've done, right? What we can do now is go to the program edit master window, transpose it, and play with it. And these are the possibilities of quarter notes are very good. Well, let me bring back the camera so you can see me again. The possibilities are, are but depends if you selected the right sample this is going to work out why because you have kick drum kick drum sorry kick snare 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 and this is where it gets cool If you go, remember, we're in master program edit window. If we go up, of course, going up is hard because you have to play it faster and some songs uh, sound a bit weird if you do that. But if we go, let's say, and this is my favorite thing to do in the world with MCs and samples. If we go minus four, minus three. But yeah, that's how it works. If you do this with many of your samples, you can find good stuff. Obviously, you can transpose each 
path individually and discover things. Uh, but be careful because you can mess the chord progression and be off key very easily if you don't do this thing right. Remember, we got a drum, drum hit, which is basically a kick. We have bass. We have a, we can hear a cymbal, right? Here, this one has a crash, the very first one. The, the bass is, is like playing a melody, so it's like slapping. Oh, wow. So we have to be careful because that one's also, it, it's, it's crucial. It, it's, it, it's a factor for groove and melody. We cannot do... Sometimes works, sometimes not. You have to be careful. The more elements in your samples, the harder it will be in, in to manipulate them, right? Because we have For example, let's say we want to remove glitchy noises. We can hear something's going on at the very end of this pad, right? It's a bit annoying. So we can go to program edit. We select the filter and envelopes uh, section. And then we select all the pads. You're going to affect all the pads with this. Because this is most likely happening to all the pads, right? We, we get just the beginning of the next pad. It's going up in volume again and it's, it's a bit annoying. So how can you remove it? Well, we have the amp envelope with attack and decay. This is massive. We're gonna remove a bit of decay. Oh, it's gone. Attack one, decay 36. Of course, this, this can be more dramatic if we go 127 decay. We, we can't wait too much, but maybe that's something you wanna do. So my advice is play a lot with the amp envelope. If you wanna remove glitchy artifacts. We lost a little bit of information, but potentially with this sample, we know we're gonna be adding stuff, so we don't want those glitchy noises. You see, now it's clean. Like you play every path, many possibilities with this window. I'm gonna go in depth and show you the things I've discovered with this section in future videos. But for now, uh, I think that's, this is where we want to live it. Oops. Chop her beat, which means kick, snare, kick, snare. One, two, three, four quarter notes. Clean later to make sure there are no artifacts. I'll show you more techniques how to remove drums, how to remove bass. There's so many things that can be done after this step, uh, but I'll show you in future videos. Okay guys, so that's everything I have for now. This was the chopping in quarter notes technique that I use a lot. It's probably my favorite technique. Subscribe to my channel because I'll keep on posting techniques and things I use every day for samples and music production in general or NPC enabled to life. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, have a nice day.